give it, give it to me. And what is that? They never had to worry about who ever again. My God. So what is it? We're talking about your season for grace and faith. That's why I get I get a little I get a little upset, not upset like flesh and upset, but when people say, you know, you gotta wait for your season. It's not your season yet. Listen, let me tell you something. Uh, if you are a child of God, just like the scripture we just read, uh uh in um uh, in Colossians one and four, you know, it talks about praise God, amen. If you are saint, if you are or 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 his child, you belong to him, you have it. Grace and you have it faith. You know, sometimes I try to say, I don't want you walking around with your head down. It's my season for, for suffering. Do you know, even in the time when you suffer, God is yet blessed? Mm -hmm. Even in the time when you feel like you don't have all that you, that you want, you got everything that you need? Because we are always in the season of grace and faith. We're always in the season of grace and faith. Amen. Ever since Jesus died on the cross. Come on. <laughs> Come that on. was great. That was great. And faithful. Hey, hey, yeah, look, you suffer through something in life. Don't rewind the tape and he gets off the cross and uh -huh. go back and then he got to be crucified again. No. It happened what? One time. My God. And his grace. Right then. Before you were even thought of. Hallelujah. His grace and favor was covering and waiting on you. Amen. When you were born, praise God, amen. You were born in sin, shaped in iniquity, praise God. He said, come back. Mm -hmm. He created a void within us. You know, people always say, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, it's because he created us with a void. He created mm -hmm. us with an emptiness that will cause us to long to be accepted, long to be loved, long to, but guess what? That is that space that he reserved for himself. We think it's a man he reserved it for. He reserved it for, you know, for a woman. He reserved it for, no, no, no. He created that boy so that he could feel that boy in your life. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, it's so good about serious. Amen. Amen. How long is it? It's just easy. Because, see, when you're in the world, you're out of season. <gasps> when you have a deal in your life to Christ, you're, you're out of season. Come on. Glory be to God. That's right. You're out of season. My God. Oh. Glory be to God. But when you begin to pray and say, Lord, I want to be in your season. Mm. Glory be to God. Mm. Lord, I, I want your grace and your mercy. It's already there. Because he's standing at the door and he's knocking. And say, come on in. This is your season. Come on in here. Glory be to God. He says, seek ye the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. And all these things will be added, praise God. Awesome. Amen. He's a full coverage God. Well, I like that. Full like coverage, that. praise God. Like Just not by ability, praise God. Full coverage means anything. And, and you know, naturally, when you get full coverage insurance, naturally, uh -huh. that's, that covers everything. It covers your, your 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 parts on your car. It covers when you hit somebody, when somebody hits you, mm -hmm. and, and and it covers uh uh when somebody gets hurt. It covers that bodily injury. Mm -hmm. It covers all of it. Mm -hmm. See, all liability does is pay for the other person be here. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> so, but see, the devil don't even have liability. Are you still a rich? Still a rich. <laughs> The devil don't even have our ability because he can't even cover you. He can't cover you. Come on. He can't even cover himself. Come on. He can influence you, but he can't cover you. He can't cover you. Come on. <laughs> Glory be to God. So when you when you seek God, you seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness mm -hmm. and everything else will be added. The peace, the joy, the love, the long suffering, the gentleness, the compassion, mm -hmm. all of that. Amen. Is every other thing, amen, that's going to be added. Praise okay. God. Because God, He adds, He multiplies. He don't divide and subtract. He don't do that. He don't do that. When you come to God, amen, He multiplies. Because He said, when you give, He'll return to you full force. That means fully. That means 100 fold. Amen. Praise the Lord. So He'll give it to you completely. More than what you had to start with. 
Because you can look at that by Job, praise God. After Job lost everything, Job wasn't worried about nothing. Uh, Job gave it all. Yeah. Lord, you, you got, Lord, you can have my children, my wife, you can have my home, you can have everything. It said you can even have a, 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 a my, my, my flesh. Because he was all covered in sores and stuff. He said, Lord, you can have all of that. And, you know, you know, sometimes, and you were talking, I thought about this, sometimes we don't know what has us so burdened down. Exactly. And God will begin to remove things. And we have, we have such a fleshly connection. Mm-hmm. So we can't see that that's the thing that was holding That's the thing that was binding us up. So sometimes when you, when you suffer loss, Mm-hmm. Or God remove something from your life, it's for your good. For your good. Even though, even though it's gonna take a minute, you got to heal and mm-hmm. you got to do all this. Job did with them sores, like Susan said, he said, Lord take, take everything. <laughs> but guess what? In the end of that thing, praise God, mm-hmm. was total victory. Total victory. And and it was and it was a victory. The victory in, in God. Is, is, a, is, is different from when you get victory out here. That victory, that shine on that victory is for the blood of second. Mm-hmm. But when you have victory in God, that, that's forevermore. forevermore. And Job was blessed mm-hmm. uh, unmeasurably Amazing. when that thing turned around to him, praise mm-hmm. God. But we got to be willing to allow God to take us through the process because you never know what he's doing. He's probably clearing the pathway for where you really supposed to be. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we can settle into something like that one we talked about earlier. Mm-hmm. She had settled into the idea of mm-hmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and die. Mm-hmm. She had reached her this this is as far as her, her faith. Here we go. Come mm-hmm. on. This is as far as her faith had to occur. Praise God, amen. See that's why our relationship with God has to kick in. Praise God, like you're talking about leaning and depend on him. Mm-hmm. Her own her her, little, her faith. See, I'm gonna tell y'all something about us. We'll run out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she ran out. Mm-hmm. Hey, but she didn't know the next step. That's why I go up to somebody to let her know. The next step, we say, when you've done all you can, stand. Mm-hmm. You, you, you know, you, you stood, then stand there for, stand some more. Mm-hmm. Because God is going to send something. God is still working something out. Mm-hmm. you got to stay in position. Stay in position. you got to stay in position. Amen. This has been such a blessing today, praise God. I don't want to uh, get off the air today without praying. I'm going to let my mom pray today. Y'all know I always call her sister, but my mom, you know, uh, has really uh, loved and supported me in ministry, praise God, and taught me different things, praise God. Uh, Set a wonderful foundation in the gospel. Praise God. So I want to pray for you today because leaning and depending on God is not easy when you haven't practiced it. It ain't easy when you're the one that has been in control of everything. And sometimes you get, listen, well, really, if you in Christ, you need to lose control. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Come on. You need to lose control and let God do what he knows how to do. He's been doing it way before you were born. Mm-hmm. So we're just going to pray. We are taking this up and broadcast. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you today. We thank you for your many, many, many blessings that you have restored up on us. Lord, we thank you for all our listeners today. Lord, we thank you for how you bless them, how you bless them in their home, in their job, in their car, on the highways, in the byways. Oh, God, we thank you right now. Lord, continue to pour out your blessing and, and pour out your spirit, Lord. Open up their understanding of their heart, mm. oh God, that they um, may listen to your will and listen to your way, oh God, and that they would give, Lord, and oh. give, praise God. Mm. We're not talking about monetary give. We're talking about give of themselves. Yes. Lord, give their will to you, oh God. And that they would say, Lord, I'm available to you. Lord, use my hands, my mouth, my eyes, my ears, my feet. Lord, just use me to your will and glory, praise God. Lord, that they will seek you for you to be their guide and their director in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Oh, God, that they would, would, would just really just sacrifice, Lord, themselves 
oh God, when they go to the house of worship, Lord, to go and to worship you, not go, oh God, to see who's going to be there and see who was looking at them if they give themselves to you. Oh God, hallelujah. Lord, occupy their minds, oh God, with your love and your compassion so they can look back and see where you brought them from in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we're blessed in a way, praise God. When you put man in the Garden of Eden, Lord, you bless him, and you bless Adam, and you bless Eve, and you bless everything around him, praise God. And you saw that it was good. Glory be to God. Oh, God, continue to pour out the Spirit and let them know that they can be blessed beyond measures in the name of Jesus if they would just sacrifice themselves to you. Sacrifice their all. Give their all. Give their heart, their mind, their soul, their body, their spirit to you. Because it belongs to you in a way, praise God. Sometimes we think we are in control of our own, but we're not in control. Oh, God, hallelujah. But when we get out of your will, oh, God, you let us think that we are in control. But, Lord, help us to step back into your will and step back into your ways and to keep our mind stayed on you. You said those that keep their minds stayed on you, you will keep them in perfect peace. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Evidently, some of us, sometimes we're in peace, but the peace is not perfect. Oh, Glory be to God. Lord, we want to be in that, in that mind and have that peace that's the path of all understanding. When things seem like they're going wrong, going dark, praise God. Oh, God, that perfect peace will keep our eyes on you. Keep our eyes on the prize because we're striving to make it in. Lord, help us to lay aside every weight and every sin. Lord, which does so easily but set up and let us run this race with patience. Oh, God, we want men to see our good work and glorify the Father which is in heaven. And, Lord, we just thank you for it. Lord, bless us the rest of the day, all those on the sound of our voice and all the, the family members and whoever they are associated with on their job. Lord, just touch and just continue to bless and let them know that you are there. That come on and get in the season, praise God. Oh, God, of your grace and of your favor. Oh, God, you can carry them through. When the times get hard and, and trouble come, praise God. That they can lean on you yes. in the name of Jesus and name trust you. Yes. Oh, God, and we thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, God, those requests that people have, the, the sickness in the hospital, yes. and those in the mental institution, the mind of people today have yes. just really been, been kind of messed up. But, Lord, oh, God, create them in a clean heart. Yes. Lord, renew a right Spirit in the name of Jesus. Name of oh God, take the reins of the mind. Yes. Yes. Lord, bring it in and let them know that I'm there for you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. No matter what the situation is. Lord, Lord. No matter how it looks, how it seems. Yes. Yes. God. Yes. Oh God, but let them know that you are there. Oh God, and you're standing at the door knocking. Yes. If yes. any man open up the door, you'll come in and you'll suck with him. Yes. Oh God, you'll be there with him and you'll teach him in short. Yes. Oh God, the way in order to make it to heaven. Because we'll be able to make it in. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, and help us, Lord, mm -hmm. to be meek and humble and lowly, Lord, in your sight. Oh, God, and we thank you right now. Lord, take away the pride. Take it away in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And help us to have a meek and humble spirit. Mm -hmm. That we'll live the life that you're calling for in these last and evil days. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I want to thank everybody for tuning in, and I hope the word that was, was said that bless your life, praise God. Because we know, Father, uh, Father God, that this word went out and accomplished what it said out to do, yeah. and that it will not return to you, Lord. I want you all to remember that with our faith, it's impossible to please God, yeah. but with God, all things are possible. Amen. Remember, if you feel like no one cares, God can be there. All right. God bless you. Make sure you tune in on them tomorrow where we will talk about, amen, uh, uh, his grace and faith again right here on My Gospel Song. Amen.